Hey Toku Faithful, I know I haven't done much here on YouTube except upload old reviews and those are getting blocked and copyright struck and content ID'd, so thought I'd try something a little different. I had some spare time to kill, so what the hell, I just threw together a random video to talk about what's happening in the world of Tokusatsu this week. Maybe this will be a new thing, I don't know. We'll see. Indie Toku, Ninja Ichiban. This is the third act from the Fujiyama Ichiban series. I gotta say, I've been loving this show so far. For those who haven't seen it yet, you should really check it out. Michi Yamato, who's worked on Bioman and several Saban shows behind the scenes, and his Samurai Action Studio have really captured the feel of a Saban Amira Toku show that would air on Saturday morning. When there were still Saturday morning cartoon blocks. And I look forward to what they come up with next. Toys. San Diego Comic Con exclusive toys from Bandai of America. I gotta say, I did not see the Dino Chargers coming, and I think that was a good idea. I know a lot of us wish that Bandai of America would move beyond Mighty Morphin, but in this case I'd make an exception. Then there's the Golden Black Saba. I think a lot of us called this one from a mile away. But of course, it's JDF or nothing when it comes to Bandai of America. Convention news. Gal Red's actor is going to appear at G-Fest. Originally they wanted Yukijiro Hotaru, but his work schedule got in the way. So now we have Noboru Kaneko taking his place. I really wish I could make this convention, but it's great that more toku actors are coming stateside. I hope this entices him to go to some ranger-related conventions, because I would love to meet him. Fan subs. Drive and Guy Movie War Full Throttle. Overtime just subbed this movie, so check it out if you've been wanting to see it. From what I've been seeing, there's some hilarious back and forth between the two writers. Movies. Common Rider Drive, Surprise Future. Apparently, instead of another alternate world, this one will involve time travel. From what they've shown, the new car in Dark Drive looks pretty awesome. Almost like if Eclipter was a Common Rider. Nin Ninja, the Dinosaur Lord Technique. This involves the team going to a sacred village that only ninjas can go to. I wonder if the Kakarangers and Hurricanes have been there. Anyway, they find a castle and a lord of said castle who is cursed. Sounds like an RPG side story, if you ask me. Anyone else notice how this one involves the past and Drive's movie involves the future? Coincidence? Well, that's what happened this week. See ya.